Hi, it's Stephanie again. Let's discuss two rescuer child CPR for the healthcare professional and how it is different from one rescuer CPR. The major difference is that when there are two rescuers, one rescuer performs 15 compressions instead of 30, and the second rescuer delivers two rescue breaths. After two minutes, or about five cycles of CPR, have the rescuers trade places. First, check scene safety and alert EMS. Don personal protective equipment such as gloves and a mask with a one-way valve. Make sure to use the correct size mask, such as a pediatric one, if it is available. Check for a response by asking the patient if they're all right, placing a hand on the forehead and tapping them on the collarbone. Look for signs of normal breathing and check for a carotid pulse simultaneously for no longer than 10 seconds. Brachial pulse is better in younger, smaller children. If there is no pulse, have one rescuer begin CPR. To perform CPR correctly, locate the end of the victim's sternum where the ribs come together on the chest. Place two fingers at the tip of the breastbone and then place the heel of the other hand above the fingers for proper placement. Kneel by the patient's side and give 15 compressions using one hand at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute and one third the depth of the chest. The second rescuer kneels by the patient's head, tilts the head and lifts the chin, holding the rescue mask using the CE method. Deliver two rescue breaths looking for the rise and fall of the chest. Continue for two minutes or about five cycles of CPR and then call out a switch. After the second rescuer delivers two rescue breaths, they will walk around to the patient's side and immediately begin compressions. The first rescuer grabs the rescue mask and gets ready to begin rescue breathing. Keep alternating until help arrives and AED arrives or the patient becomes responsive. This concludes two rescuer child CPR. Thank you for watching.